Okay guys, the secret to having a nice clean house is white vinegar and dawn. Oh my God, guys. Watch the shine on everything that I clean. Now right here, I'm getting ready to clean the shower curtain that's been up there for approximately two and a half months. I have that mixture and that spray bottle right there, you see? And um, yeah, all I did was Put the solution in the spray bottle and spray it down completely. Let it sit for a couple of minutes. And guys, take any type of mop you have. I have this cedar, I think it's a cedar mop um, that, that rings out by itself. Oh my God, guys, if you know anything about that mop, you know we love this mop right here. We love it. It works well for so many different things. The ceiling. The walls, the towels, the tubs, the floors, the I even clean my 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 the outside of my front. I'm refrigerated with it. If you don't have this mop, guys, you need to get this mop. And I'm not promoting this mop at no means, but if you want to make cleaning just a little bit more joyful, a little bit more pleasant, this mop here has helped me so much and once again i'm taking that same solution and this mop and i'm just rubbing the dirt and i don't know if you guys can see it but the dirt is like coming off all the the soap scum is at the bottom so you'll see me do a lot of rubbing and scrubbing there and what i'm trying to do guys is save my um shower curtains because i get so tired of constantly constantly buying them because of the soap scum at the bottom but one thing i can tell you if you lose the solution every time you get out the shower to spray your walls down and to spray your shower curtain girls and guys this will save you a lot of money and it will take you less scrubbing to do when you get ready to clean or change your shower curtains because at the end i do change my shower curtains and i let this one dry um and you know i will be using this again and again and again i don't know i love these shower curtains right here i love the colors it makes my bathroom pop when you walk inside. But yeah, right now you'll see me rinse the solution off. This is the, the back side. This is the side that the soap scum is on. And the other side, I will be turning them over at a later time and cleaning the opposite side. But all I want to do now is get the residue, um, the soap scum and all of that, um, dawn and um, vinegar off the shower curtains right now. But guys, if you want a clean smelling house, I tell you one thing this mixture works so what i'm going to do now is just going to take some doves because i sprayed my walls down earlier with that solution so i'm just going to take some doves you don't have to do use too much but i'm going to use that to, um you'll see later on um, i'm gonna dip it in there in the bucket and um, use that same solution to um to clean the, the other side of the shower curtain but right now i'm trying to get the soap scum um, out of these little creases here and it's doing we'll take it off and you're gonna you're gonna see these walls. They're gonna shine, guys. Your shower curtain is really gonna be clean. And again, I'm taking the dirt and the grime off of um, the creases of the towels. And you know it works on you know Dawn works on grease, so it has no comparison. This Dawn works perfectly to get the soap scum on. And the vinegar acts as an agent itself. And if you want to, you can take some um, some baking soda and put it on your scrub brush with the uh, Dawn. And oh my God, you have to see that one. So at the end, I do show you um, the big um, baking soda that I buy. And it, it's used for pools and everything. It's used to here. Um, I put baking soda in my coffee. It helps with my gut. <laughs> It helps with the fat in your stomach. Now, this is, I'm not promoting it, but that's what I read somewhere. So, I put a little bit in my coffee every day. But anyway, I'm scrubbing my walls down. And this right here, guys, I'm telling you. If you do this, maybe once or twice a week, scrub it down like this. It, it won't be so hard to keep your bathroom clean. I love this dawn. And right here, you will see me take the um, brush, I mean the mop, with that some clean water, and just wipe it down. 
and when I finish scrubbing it, because what I'm trying to do here now is see, you know, what's left behind. Is there dirt left behind? And I do do my whole shower. You might not see me do um, the front part of it, and that's the only reason. The only reason why is because I can't angle the camera to show you guys. But I do initially clean my whole bathroom this way, walls and all. And I don't know if you can see those walls shining, but yeah, you can. It, it really makes a difference, guys. And guess what? I don't have to worry about the smell, the fumes, um, you know, uh, messing with my allergy or anything. It's a nice, clean, gentle cleanser. And this is what it's all about, guys. Um, no harsh smells, no bleach, no ammonia, none of that. And that vinegar, like I said, it acts as an agent with that dawn and it will make anything shine. So if you don't use it, I, I tell you one thing, just try it one time and you will never go back to buying all of that expensive stuff like I have now at the bottom of my cabinets. Just look at that. Look at that dawn. Mm, mm, mm. And look at that mark, guys. Mm. If anybody's interested, I ordered that mark from um, Amazon. You can purchase it at anyway, Lowe's, Home Depot, even your probably your corner bodega store will probably have them because they're so popular, and so many people are doing so many good things with it. Like I said, if you want to clean your walls in your bathroom, just wet it, spin it, and just wipe your walls down. I don't know, I'm just learning about this mop, but I tell you, I waste a lot of years buying all kind of mop heads and mop sticks. This thing should have been around forever. But I'm glad I found it. So I pushed that to the side because I want to clean the other side of the wall right now. As you can see, and I will go back to the shower curtain in a little while. You won't see me switch it over, but I will be doing the opposite side of it. And yes, you will need... um an extra pole to, to clean your shower curtains because um, this is the, the back of the shower head, uh, the, ba the back of the shower, um, so you will need a pole to, uh, a shower pole, I guess that's what it's called, to put in the back of it to hang your shower curtain if you're going to clean it. But guys, if you do it this way, you'll spend less money on buying um, sh shower curtains. Shower liners, as I call it, because I there's a shower curtain, but I use it as a shower liner because they are so pretty in color. Shower liners are usually basically clear and white and cream, so I use a shower curtain, um, the plastic ones, as a liner because of the beautiful colors they have. So, here you see me using that same solution to do the other side of the wall. And like I said, if you want to, you can put some baking soda in that bucket or put it on the, the scrub brush and just let and just go to work. It's much better than using all of those harsh chemicals and it does a wonderful job. Again, guys, if you want to make cleaning easier for you, I suggest you pick up this mop or something similar to it. I actually um, uh, clean my tub out with it also. And there I will sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle some, um, some baking soda down just to use as abrasive um, to clean the bottom of my tub. The bottom of I just had a um, a clog in my in my um, tub, so you might see a little yellow stain, and that's okay because over time this dawn and this vinegar will, will change it back white. So if you happen to see that, that's what happened. There. I had a clog drain, and it really it really messed up my um, my tub. But yeah, I am now rinsing down the shower um, curtain so I could turn it around. And the the, the, the the dirtiest part of this shower curtain was the the bottom of it. For some reason, the shower scum tends to go straight to the bottom. I don't know if because it rinses off 
off your body and it, um, you know, get hits up against that, I guess. I really don't know, but that was the most, um, scrubbing I had to do was at the bottom. The top part wasn't too bad. It had some soap scum, but not that much. And yeah, I put a little bit more Dawn in there. Um, you only need a couple of drops, guys. That's the vinegar. You can use any kind of vinegar, to be honest with you. So what I'm doing now is, you, is, is cleaning the other side of the wall. Like I said, you won't see it because of the angle of the, the camera. I can't get on that side. But yeah, I cleaned the, um, the handles and everything with that same solution. So again, I try to make sure I get all the, the, the um, solution off of the shower curtain. So that way when I hang it up to dry, I don't have to worry about any streaks or anything. But one thing I can tell you guys is my shower curtain is perfectly clean. Very clean at this moment. And if you like me, you like nice things, and you get tired of um, constantly purchasing, purchasing the same thing over and over again. So now you'll see me clean the, the around the edges of my my um, tub, the inside, the bottom. You guys don't see, but I sprayed some. Um, and this is a Mr. Clean um, sponge right here. I'm going to tell you something about that Mr. Clean sponge, guys. I'll put a little bit of Dawn on there and wipe down the soap scum and it just comes off. You do not need a regular sponge. Get you one of these Mr. Clean. Mr. Clean work. Let me tell you something. I had no idea this thing worked this fabulous. But it made it so easy for me to clean this bathroom guy i just went to back to i went to dollar general and i bought me five more of those little mr clean little uh sponge things there because it works perfectly i mean no hard rubbing and scrubbing just 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 barely just cleaning just barely rubbing i mean barely and it got all the just the soaps come off you can't see but Oh, yes, it had a whole lot around the tub. And I, and I made this video just because I wanted to show you guys how perfectly this stuff worked with little to no money. You can go get a, a bottle of Dawn from Dollar Tree for $125. And you can get you a small bottle of vinegar for $2. And you can make you a mixture. You only need a small amount of both in the spray bottle and check this out guys you won't believe it please try it and if you try it i want you to come back and i want you to comment and let me know how things went or i want you to make a video and you show me how things went because people don't believe that to little or nothing that you can look at my shower it is so nice and sparkly guys when i tell you nice and sparkly and shining wow and one thing I can tell you, if you had a shower, um, a glass door, oh, this will make, this will work perfectly with it. Perfectly. It would get it so nice and clean and shiny. So try it. Try it, try it, try it, try it, try it. So now you'll see me take my sponge and do a little scrubbing only because it's a little bit um you know a little bit um soap scum there that's not coming off so 
I use my my um my my heart uh, scrub my a sponge for this one. It has a, like a, a abrasive um, on one side, and then it has a sponge on the other, and this this helps me tremendously also. But guys, make cleaning a little bit easier for you guys, and like I said, won't cost you too much. Try just try this out. You don't have to believe me, but you will. You will want to thank me at the end. Look at that shower curtain. I I I, I wish I would have never. Um, I wish I would have showed you guys what it looked like before. But when I thought about it, it was too late. I got most of the soaps come off. But yeah, guys, this is the end result. I switched the shower curtain, and I just wanted you to see that. Hey, this one here, I'll be doing the same thing too. And I like those polka dots. Um, it goes cute with the bathroom decor. And um, this one here cost me $5.99. And I will be switching back and forth between this one here and the one that I just cleaned. So when this one here get dirty, I'll clean it and do the same thing and hang it up to dry, which you will see me do in a little while. I hang it up to dry. I turn the fan on. Once it dry, I'm going to fold it up and put it away. And when... When it's time to change it, I'll use that other one that we just cleaned. But here you see me uh, cleaning the walls with this with this mop. I tell you guys, this mop is off the chain. Get it, try it, you're gonna love it. It's gonna make everything so easy. So here I just sprayed my walls down and did the same process. And as you can see, they're nice and shiny and clean. Oh, I love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Yes, ma'am. So coming up, you'll see me drying. Yeah, there it goes. Me drying right now. I see the fan blowing, drying the shower curtain so I can put it away. And I'm going to show you guys the baking soda, the big bag that you can go to BJ's or anywhere and get. Just buy the big bag. And it's used for so many things. Um, here, it's for cleaning. It's for clothes. It's for de deodorizing your garbage can. It just, just works, guys. So here, I'm finished. And yes, I'm folding it up to put it away to get ready for next use. And this is my Osita mop, guys. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Perfect.